Hi guys, thank you for joining me with Art Sphere today. We are going to be making our very own um, plastic. So a lot of our stuff around our house or um, things we use every day is made out of plastic. Um, so you guys are familiar with the material, but we are going to be making a specific kind called casein plastic. Um, and it's made from two ingredients, um, milk and vinegar. And that's all you guys are gonna need for this. So it's super easy. And we're just gonna go through the materials really quick. I have two bowls, um, one for mixing and one for pouring. I have my vinegar and then I have um, one cup of milk. So I already have it measured out and this is whole milk that I'm using. Um, so if this is your first time making it, I would start off with whole milk. Um, and then if you wanna experiment with other kinds of milk like 2% or fat free um, or even only milk, you guys can go ahead and do that. Um, you also need a strainer so I have this tea strainer um, that I can just use for this or you guys can also use um, maybe like a cloth that's not too thick if you guys want if you don't have a strainer um, something similar and then you also need um, cookie cutters so I have a little star or an apple one um, but if you guys don't have cookie cutters it's okay you can just put it in um, just something to hold it it doesn't have to be a specific shape this is just for you guys to um, experiment making your own plastic. So it doesn't have to be anything in particular. It just makes it a little more fun if you have um, cookie cutters. Then I have some paper towels that I use for the mess and one tablespoon um, to measure out my vinegar. And then um, after this, you might also need Sharpies to decorate your plastic. However, um, that comes later because you do have to wait a certain amount of time before you're able to do that. So to begin, we're just gonna make our um, we're going to make our, our plastic first. So what you're going to need to do is put your milk into a bowl and make sure that your bowl is microwavable sink because you need to heat this up for, um, 90 seconds in the microwave. So just make sure that your bowl is able to do that and then go ahead and microwave your milk. All right, so I heated up my milk in the microwave. Um, it's a little bit hot, so just be careful when you're taking it out. Next, you are going to take your vinegar, and I'm just using distilled white vinegar, um, but whatever vinegar you have at your house is fine. It just has to be um, an acidic base. So you're gonna take your tablespoon, and you are going to measure out four tablespoons of vinegar just into the milk. And as you're pouring it in, you can definitely see um, just a reaction occurring because milk and vinegar is not soluble together, which means that they will not um, mix together. However, um, milk has a protein called casein. If you remember, I said we're making casein um, plastic and the casein will combine with um, the the molecules in the vinegar and instead of forming together and dissolving together they're actually just going to form a really strong bond which makes the plastic so you're just going to stir your milk and vinegar together for about a minute you don't really have to time it but you can just watch um you can see that it's like starting to curdle a little bit it's starting um, to change consistency but it will not mix together so I'm just going to stir this. And if you think that you have it combined well enough, um, it's not going to get hard or 
um, completely change consistency. It's just going to be a little bit curdled um, and it does smell really strong, so watch out. Um, when you think you have it uh, stirred up enough that it's completely mixed through, you're going to take your little sifter, you're going to hold it over this bowl that you have, the other one, and you are going to pour this into the sifter. I'm going to use my spoon um, to mix around in my sifter because um, because the stuff inside is so thick that it won't drain everything out, but you want to drain all the milk out as you can. So I'm just going to press it against the edges, try to get all the milk out. Um, there's still a lot in there, so... Doing that. And as you can see, it actually um, ends up being not a lot of material for your plastic that you can make. So it does require um, a lot of milk and vinegar just to make a small amount of plastic because we are just sifting out uh, the casein molecule proteins in here. This is also um, the same way that people make cheese. Um, when they curdle it, they Heat it up and then um, it's close to the top and they sift out the part they want for their cheese. So it's really interesting. Alright, if you guys think that you have it dissolved enough, you can see in here it's just a little tiny bit. You don't want any liquid. I'm going to take a paper towel and I am going to dry up excess milk in here so all around it and then inside just want to dry that up um, and make sure I don't have anything extra we want it as dry as possible next you are going to just lay out your other paper towels make sure you have a dry clean safe area to do this because it has to dry for um, 24 to 48 hours, which is kind of a long time, so make sure you guys have somewhere to place this where it won't get too um, messed up. And I'm just going to use my spoon and place it into my uh, mold. So now I'm just placing this in here. using my apple mold and I'm just making sure that every single spot is filled up so it makes an apple completely using all of it all right as you guys can see it only filled up one of my molds so it only filled up uh, this apple tiny mold and so our whole cup of milk and our four tablespoons of vinegar only filled up this much. So if you guys were wanting to make uh, more of that or more plastic, um, you guys are going to need to double the ingredients a lot more to do that. But this is just a fun experiment um, if you're trying to make some little things or decoration. Um, when this dries, we can, we're going to look at it and see um, what it looks like and if it worked um, and how it dries. So we will check back in 48 hours. Alright guys, so we are back. We're going to check in with the plastic, the case of plastic that we made and I have let mine dry for two days so I'm going to take it out of its mold and see if it worked. Um, if you look at it, you can see that it shrunk around the edges a little bit um, because all the water dried out. So it should come out pretty easily if it's dry. So I'm just flipping it over and taking it out. Here I have um, my apple. The leaf fell off a little bit but here it is. Um, so I can just hold it. And we have our case in plastic apple that I made and whatever you guys made. So it's pretty hard. You just have to be kind of gentle with it because um, it could fall apart a little bit easily if it didn't um, 
maintain its shape as well or all the liquid dandruff has so just be a little bit careful until you test it out but your plastic should be good enough um, to draw on with sharpies if you want to decorate it or just hang it up for decoration so hopefully you guys were able to try that out and get some awesome or really cool shapes um, that you can use um, to decorate or just to draw or to give as gifts so I hope um, you guys are able to do that with us. If you were and your project turned out really awesome, I hope, um, you can share it with us at info at artspirit.org or hashtag us at loveartspirit.org and we would love to see your projects and how you guys are doing. So I hope you guys have an awesome steam filled day and please join back with us for the next video. Thank you.